Resident bedside assistants is crucial in your training. Becoming well versed with the bedside assistant allows residents to become familiar with the robotic system, instrument handling, and overall workflow during the robotic case. When walking to the robot room uh, before the case starts, typically the robot is draped by the surgical team. When reaching around it, for example, grabbing gloves, try not to contaminate it when reaching around it. At bedside after the patient's been treated before the robot has been doctored, it's our job to assist with setting up all the ports, uh, the bipolar, the monopolar, the suction, and the camera. There are several ways you can move the arms into position. You can freely, you can grab the arm and freely move it, or you can press the top button to freely move it up here, and the bottom button assists with moving it in and out, left to right, move it into position. There's a button on the back that assists with clearance. Uh, you can press it down to kind of move the entire apparatus of the arm to kind of reduce collision with the other instrument arms. There's a button on the back that can help with moving the entire room. These are only located on the, on the far left and right arms. Assisting this when you just entire, move the entire arm left and right. Another cool feature with the XI robot is you can use the buttons right here to move the entire room up or down. All you gotta do is press the back button here and drag all the way down to see red. You drop the beam down off and down. If you hold up, you can bring it up as well. If you want to use the robot camera as a laparoscope, make sure to have these great bunny ears facing up at all times. When the buttons are facing up like this, that means your camera is pointing 30 down. And while you uh, move the camera up to where the buttons are on the bottom, you'll be looking up 30 up. When knocking the ports, uh, you can use both the buttons to help angle um, the direction that you, the truck cars are placed. And you squeeze this back clamp button, you kind of push it in, it's in once you hear that clamp. In terms of orders operation, you always put the camera in first. Bipolar on the left. And monopolar on the right. Once you connect your instruments, you can then connect the wires to it. Green goes to the monopolar, and the blue wire goes to the bipolar. B to B is an easy way to remember it. Once you have the camera and instruments docked, you have to walk yourself, put the instruments into the patient. And make, make sure to follow yourself and go in. Communication with your copter search is essential in robotic cases. Every time you insert or switch robotic instruments, pass handles in and out, you need to let the copter search in them. So for example, you can say molecular coming out, needle driver coming in, and for passing needles, you can say needle coming in and needle coming out. There are several different color indicator lights in the robot arms you may uh, see. The most common ones you may see are the blinking blue, which means you as an assistant has control of the arm. So you can push it until you uh, see it. And hit it once to get a solid blue light. That means the composer can has control of the entire arm. You may see a green light and it occurs when you take out the instrument and put that instrument in. This means that it has memory of the last instrument placed, and all you have to do is kind of push it in to the last position where it had. And it'll be good. You may run into an issue where a single arm is flashing orange. 
Is this sort of occur? Can mean one of two things. It can mean the instrument's expired or that we have some plastic in between the plates. So an easy way to fix this is taking out the instrument and using these two tabs right here to pull out the plate itself and make sure all the plastic is out between and reconnect it. Make sure all the valves are done turning. Put the instrument back in. And you're good to go. Finally, when the case is done, you can take out the instrument and camera. And then detach the, camera, uh, the robot from the port itself. To help assist the circulator in this, to get the robot out of position.